This is like some serious hot seat shit. Um, and I've seen some of this stuff and, and we've been rapping about uh, what you use, your API console over the years, all that shit. Dude, what's like the one thing right now, uh, if you had to if you had to pick, that's like at the forefront of your like creative arsenal? That is, again, it's a hard question because like I've been asked this question on a couple of different occasions lately, but this one, so I would have to preface it with a question for you. Would it be including like, you know, because obviously like the answer is, is of course, like your computer at, at this point is is the only instrument that matters at this point, yeah. you know, computer and like a, a basic interface and or whatever. So I'm assuming that that doesn't count because everybody has that. It does. But that's a great point, actually, because it, referencing uh, the, the beginning of the interview where we kind of started out, that's kind of everything now. You know what I mean? It, it is that power that is mobile and how you flew back and forth and, you know, and from where you started. So we will accept that answer. But I'll challenge you to say if there's a second secondary follow up, what would that be outside of that? Yeah, like because most of the time when people are like, what's your fate? What's like your desert island piece of gear? And it's like, well. I mean, it, I, most people, that's not like, a, oh, yeah, my laptop or like whatever, like, you know, my interface is like, that's something that everybody has is most certainly not the, the romantic answer. But I would think that for the for like the gearheads out there who like really want some juice and some juicy shit to talk about um, my UTA on Fairchild is like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. unfair. The one thing <laughs> that piece I've had, like I've had like two or three people uh, come in the studio I have it in Nashville right now, and so I don't use it right now because I'm I'm out in LA at this point, and I'm actually moving back here, so um, I will f hopefully have it back with me soon. Uh, so I only get to use it like half the time, but that is the one piece of gear that enough people come in the studio when they actually hear what it does. Yeah, they're always like, I've had like three people be like, "Can I buy that from you? Like, how much would you take for it?" I'm just like, "No, the, there's no way I would sell it. It's it's just like a it's a magical fat." box is distortion compression it's like the whole thing it's totally worth it it's almost like something that makes everything sound like old and classic but new at the same time louder yeah. and also more dynamic i don't know it's cool when we had a uh, mike pepe on yep yeah he was a uh, raving case did he say did he say the unfair child I, as well uh, we'll have to we'll have to check the records but i'm gonna go ahead and say i know mike pepe and i know that that's what he said <laughs> for sure because yeah well because he he moved he moved into Eric Valentine's Barefoot Studios in yeah. Silver Lake, um, yeah, yeah. and uh, and so like the UTA like building is like right there. Right, right. So yeah. I'm sure I 100 percent know that that's what he was all about. And honestly, like I mean, it's it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Well, here's another one though, because I, I do like gear. It's like a yeah, little like yeah, dude. Hobby of mine. I, I do love gear. So so like if you're for for people who can't afford a you know thirteen thousand dollar compressor or whatever it's cost like. Um, and you're just trying to buy a something that's like really good that's cheap. Well, first of all, the UA Apollo Classic, you can use all the now all the digital stuff so good. Like you can just insert plugins and record through it. Everybody's got one. It's amazing. That's my shit for sure. I mean, Lewis Bell uses that on all the Post Malone stuff. Like it's it's just it is the one thing to have. Or if you're looking for an actual piece of gear, I really highly recommend a a distress Empirical Labs distressor. That's like the most versatile compressor I have, I have three different studios. Um, I've got two here in LA, like two production studios in LA and one in Nashville. And I have one in each one of my, the LA spots. And then um, I think I have like four in Nashville. Like I use them all the time. Like they're the one thing that I'm just like, if I got one of those, I'm good. Like no matter what. Yeah. That's so, it, dude. you know, it's, so kind, it's kind of a basic thing, but no, but it's, but it's important. Cause it's, it's part, it is that like, that core part of the process, you know what I mean? It's like, it's that thing that you just, you know how it functions and it, it does what you need it to do. So it's, so that's actually, that's the sexiest yeah, thing, they're bulletproof. right? Yeah. It's like, you know, something that you can actually rely on that allows you to get to all the other experimental shit. You know what I mean? It's, um, it's that like stability that it's that rock dude. Well, that's awesome, man. Um, dude also now at this point, it's like, that's too, we gotta, we gotta get Eric to come on and cause it's like, you, yeah, we gotta, we just gotta make, Oh happy. yeah. Especially for the gear. Greatest of all time. Yeah. Um, well, it's circling the drain. So, 
so maybe we'll make it happen. Maybe uh, maybe we'll have some people put in some good words, and if he's got the time for next season, we'll we'll try and make it happen. But dude, that's awesome, man. Um, great great picks, amazing. And we're off, Eric Valentine, putting it out in the ethos. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah yeah. Let's go. Music to-